What's up, YouTube? It's the dawn, where shit gets real. And like every goddamn day, I'm gonna keep it real with you. So saying that, if you're looking, if you're looking for one of those videos where the guy's sitting there holding the bikes and saying, "Yeah, I know Billy Bob. Billy Bob's really a good guy, and Billy Bob makes these devices, and Billy Bob." Says these, you know, I put my heart on sweat in each and every one of these devices. And, you know, Billy Bob's a really good guy. And, you know, you know, you should go support Billy Bob because Billy Bob, you know, makes these in his garages. Or Billy Bob has a factory that he, you know, he manages. And Billy Bob, if you're looking for that, you know what, stop the video and go find somebody else. Because you're not going to get that shit here. You're going to get, you know, a real deal. So today... The real deal we're going to get after the hype. All right, after the hype on two devices. And two de the two devices we're going to talk about are the Goliath, which I did a, you know, a review on, and the Jellyfish. Okay? So I haven't done a review on the Jellyfish, but I'm just going to run down the specs real quick. Well, not the specs. I'm going to run down the, you know, the hype real quick, and we'll start talking about this Goliath. Okay, this Jellyfish. Okay, so um, if you know me, if you follow me on Facebook, I love this damn jellyfish. Now, just because I love this jellyfish doesn't mean this jellyfish is not one of the most jankiest boxes out there. It is. It's one of the jankiest boxes out there, but I love this one. And I'll be the first one to tell you, you know what, this shit is like driving a Ferrari. Imagine yourself in a Ferrari, right? And you got a guy next to you, you know, y'all about the race. You're in this Ferrari. And you hit the gas, and you, you you know you put it in gear, and you're ready to rock. Well, this is like driving that Ferrari. You know the tachometer tells you whether you know when to shift and all that. That's broke, right? So the engine sound that the, the, the let you hear where the shift that the, the engine sounds off. The you know the the the, the gas the the gas the throttle by wire that shit's off. For those of you that don't know what throttle by wire is, when you hit your gas, I say you give it 20% gas, there's a computer, you know, it sends a signal to the computer, and the computer tells the motor, hey, open the throttle 20%, and he's ready to rock. Well, with this, you hit the gas at 20%, uh, a signal goes to the computer, and the computer tells the motor, open the bitch 100%, that's when he's ready to fly. This shit is all fucked up. So, it brings me back to that. You remember when this first came out? Oh, it's true wattage. That's why it fires like that. It's true wattage. You remember that true wattage bullshit that was floating around with this shit? It's not true wattage. But when I bought this, I knew it was, you know, the, the wattage was way off. And I still bought it, right? And, you know, I, I liked it. You know, you know, if I, even if I wanted to like it or if I wanted to hate it, I still liked it. You know, the reason why I liked it is because the battery. The battery life is great. I can charge it up at night, in the morning. This thing will rock with me all day long. All day. When I first got this, this was the only device that I was using. And each and every day, it would last all day long. Another thing that I like about it, the way it feels in my hand, the weight of it. You know, it feels like it's put together correct. You know, it's made out of aluminum. Um... It's got a top plate and a bottom plate, um, and it just feels just right in my hand. Another thing that I liked about it, the display. The display is nice and big. You can see it. You know, I'm getting old. I can't really see and shit. Um, I can see the display. Now, the wattage. The wattage is just way off, way off, way, way, way off. So, I would not suggest this to somebody who has just one or no boxes, and this would be their first box. Um... I would not suggest this to somebody who just rocks like these sub and clearomizers. Let me take a tote of this. Somebody that rocks like only sub and clearomizers that do not use the RBA section in some of them, like the Atlantis, the Delta, the Subtank, this OBS, and high voltage. If you only rock pre-made coils, I would not suggest using this because... You know, once you put those pre-made coils on here, it, it gives you a range of what you can fire it at, okay? And most of the time, no, 100% of the time, since those coils are, are between 0.6 and 0.2, it's always going to tell you you can fire between 15 watts and 51 watts. And if you try to fire, if that's this one right here in particular, this OBS one says 
10 to 35 watts. If you turn this to 30 watts and fire that, your coil's done. Done, 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 done. Burnt black crispies. Done. Your cotton's burnt. Everything's burnt. You just fucked up your $5 coil. So you don't want to use those pre-made coils on this unless you turn that bitch all the way down to 15 uh, watts. 15 watts, you can rock it, which really is probably firing at 25, 30 watts. I don't know. I don't know what it's firing at. I can't walk around with a machine hooked up to it and it say, oh, it just says 27 and hook it up to the machine. Oh, it's really 37. I, you don't know what it's firing at. So what I use on here, strictly, strictly drippers or some type, type of rebuildable tank where I built the coil. Um, and I always start low and work my way up because this thing right here is way off. Now, it, it, it's it's... It's janky as far as, you know, knowing where to fire. Now, with the battery light, the way it feels, um, I like it. Um, now, here's the way they come in. Okay, they come in this, this pretty box, right? A little thing on the back. Let me open this up. All right. Come in a box like that. Jellyfish is in there. And behind the jellyfish, behind this jellyfish, there is a... Um, Owner's manual. Let me get this jellyfish out. By the way, I'm going to be giving away this jellyfish once I get a certain amount of subscribers. Comes with a little owner's manual. Tells you all the goods and about, you know, how to work it. And it comes with this charger. Now, speaking of this charger, here's another downfall of this damn thing. The only thing that will charge this thing is that charger. That's the only thing. Don't even think, just because it's a micro USB or mini USB, whatever it is, you got a hundred of them because you got three Androids, none of them will charge charge this. None of them. Now, another thing. I've had, this is probably like my fourth jellyfish, and two of them have broke. Okay, this is my first original jellyfish, and this one is broke. Let me show you. It's fine. I'm not holding a button. So, the, the, the buttons on them, on this one and another one I had, the other one I had just went black. Um, but this one, fire button sticks, okay? So, I had to send one back. Let me tell you the experience I had with sending it back. It took them about three weeks, you know, a little, maybe a little more than three weeks to get my replacement jellyfish. And when you have an issue with uh, uh, Lotus, um, they wanted the box, they wanted the device, they wanted the charger. I don't know, did they ask me for the owner's manual? Um, they might have not, but they wanted every goddamn thing back. You couldn't just send a device. You had to send that charger. And I guess the reason why is because that charger is like fucking golden when you got this. You need that fucking charger. So that's a downfall to it. You know, you only can charge it with that wire. So make sure if you're leaving the house with this device, this bitch is charged up. Now, it will last you all day, but what if you go somewhere and you pass out and you wake up the next morning and you only got 30%? It ain't going to get you through the, through the day. It ain't, it ain't going to get you, I'm telling you. But a fully charged will get you through a day. It's got me through a day, and I, I, I beat all day, all night, all morning. You know, so let me take a toe. Next, I'm going to talk about this Goliath. After the hype, this Goliath has been a great, 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 great um, tank, rebuildable tank. I've had no problems with it. Um, to refill it. It's so easy. Now, how I've been building mine, you can build your coils really close to those air holes, or you can bring your coils up a little higher. Um, I've done both, but I kind of keep mine high. The camera's kind of far away. I can't reach it, but if you can see it, it's, it's kind of high. I'm using the real estate in between those two posts um, because me personally, you can do what you want, but me personally, and I found that you know, I have better luck when I build a coil that that's at least three millimeters in, in girth, um, at least three, because once you start doing two, you know, millimeters, that coil is so small and you only can get but so much cotton in there. It's more likely to burn the cotton or dry that cotton out. And, you know, your, your wicks aren't going to have enough time to saturate, you know, doing that. But if it works for you, it works for you. But as far as leaking or dry hits, I haven't had any problems. But that is 100% on you. 100% on where you wick it, you know, how much cotton you got down there, where your cotton stops, 
that's on you. So don't say this tank is sucks because you can't figure out how to wick it. You wick this thing correctly, you won't have any any problems. Um, now it is a juice whore. Now that all depends on your build as well. So if you got a crazy build in there, you know you're gonna expect it to suck up the juice. But what I've been doing is turning the juice control, you know, a little maybe uh, two three thirds three fourths open, and it's been conserving my juice a little bit. But you know, you can shut it all the way down, especially if you're running like 50-50. You can shut it down and it'll probably sip the juice. Now, I don't use 50-50. I only use max VG, you know, at least 70 or higher. But this this thing right here has been a treat. Um, I've dropped it a couple times. Luckily, the glass hasn't broke. Now, I'm not saying it's Gorilla Glass. I'm sure this shit will break if I drop it correctly um, or wrongly, you know, however you want to say it. But I've had no problems with it. Um, none. You know, none, 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 none. Um, let me take another tote. Now, the price on this, you can you can get a Goliath for, I'm always grabbing the wrong uh, mouse. You can get a Goliath for 30 bucks, $29.99. Um, Vape NW still has them in stock. Um, it's a nice tank. Now, the 3 mil, I think it's 3 mil. It might be a little less than 3 mil because it seems like the juice is going like that sometimes. Um, <coughs> the 3 mil tank, yeah, whatever. But it's so easy to refill. Um, as far as the jellyfish on the price, now, they run between 129 to 150 bucks. Now, some yeah, some people have, you know, flash sales where they have them for 80 bucks, 90 bucks or whatever. But you got to catch them when you can catch them. Um, but the norm is between 130 and 150. Um, even on their site, they're still selling them at 150. But it says that they're out of stock. Okay, so like I said, I'll, I'm gonna I'm hold on to this one and give this one away um, once I reach a milestone that I feel like I should be giving away a jellyfish. But <clears throat> yeah, don't buy this if it's your only box. Don't do that. Definitely have another box have like you know, you know a, a 100 watt box or you know IPV one of those you know have another box. Don't make this your own one and only box because like I said, it took them three weeks to repair mine or, or send me a replacement. So then you might be three weeks without a box. So definitely, if you, you only get this, you know, I, I don't see why a lot of people would be still buying these at 150. They should have brought down the price a lot by now. You know, after all the hype of, it's true wattage. It's true wattage. It's not true wattage. The shit's all over the fucking place. Um, let me take a tote. Now, I hope I didn't offend anybody when I said, you know, I'm not that guy that says, oh, yeah, Billy Bob made this. You know, I'm not trying to offend you. But if that's what you're looking for, you know, you're not going to get that here. You're just not going to get it. Um, there's plenty of them out there. That you know will give you that all that information. Um, you know, I finally got a couple of people sending me stuff, and I tell them, "Hey, you know what they do? Hey, I want you to use this device. Okay, I'll use it. I'll let you know how it is." You know, they, they, I shut it down. They say, "Oh, you know, this is so great. Let me t let me tell you if it's great. You know, let the consumer tell. Let me tell you if it's great. Don't tell me your shit is great. Let me let me play with it first. Um, let me take a tote. By the way, this right here, this is that OBS uh, tank, and I've been using this all day. I, I swear I've gone through, I felt this thing up at least 15 times, at least 15 times on this one coil, and it's still rocking. Let me take a tote. Now, as of right now, they don't have 0 .2 coils for this, um, and this is only a 0 .5, and it only goes up to 35 watts, and I hate to admit it, but I'm enjoying this at 25 watts. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, that's good. That's about it. So... Like I always say, if you know somebody that's on the stinky, especially a family member, a good friend, a co-worker, a, a friend of a friend, and, you know, you, you think they might want to stop smoking, and you got some old equipment, 
that you're not using, let them use it. You know, don't give it to them, say, hey, you can have it. Let them use it. Tell them, hey, we'll ch we'll link back up in a week and, you know, tell me if you like it or not. Um, but when you give it to them, explain the battery safety, tighten up the airflow, tell them that there's a plenty of other juices that they can use. You know, when they get back to you in a week, if they want to get it, you know, send them in the right direction. Send them in the right direction. Um, you know, t please don't tell them to get like one of those pens. You just hit the button, fire, and you only get whatever that pen is putting out. Try to get them a, like, you know, at least a 20-watt device. If they, you know, can afford a 30-watt device, you know, try to, you know, stir them in that direction. That way, they can grow. They can grow without having to keep buying a new device every time they take a step, you know. Um, so, yeah, because 30 watts, you know, a new vape, but 30 watts really all they need. You can, you can do a lot with 30 watts, a lot. Um, it's just us that's been doing it for a while. You know, we tend to believe that we need, you know, 260 watts. We don't really don't need 260 watts. So we build, we got these boxes that put up 500 watts. You know, yeah, okay. You need it, you need it, you know. But to, to the average vapor, the average vapor don't need over 100 watts. Um, you probably don't even need that much, but it's nice to have. So let me take a toast. On them days you want to build all crazy. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um, and until the next time, pay it forward. They should have called this shit the fucking jellyfish. It'll sting your fucking ass. It'll fucking burn all your coils up. Your pre-made coils, consider them toast. Run this at your recommended wattage of your coil and watch that shit turn black. Black as a fucking slave. That shit will be black as shit. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. On one of those fucking 50-watt coils, that shit will be black on black crime. 